and welcome back to Fourth Earth and Gold. We're going to start with our Hall discussion of recent retirees ease and where we think they go in the Hall of Fame. Brian, what you got? All right, well, there's a few who uh, I think we can both agree on. I think there's a lot of good players that can be in the Hall of Fame. I got Jerome Bettis, Brees Holmes, and Curtis Martin, all great running backs. I also have, of course, the great Brett Favre from the Green Bay Packers. Just retire. You should be in as soon as you can possibly get in. I also have uh, maybe an underdog pick for some people, the, um, the late Sean Taylor, great player. And finally, Sean Landetta, punter from the Giants. We'll get to that in a little bit, I'm sure. But now let's go over to Ryan and see what his Hall of Fame picks are. Well, uh, well, okay. I pretty much have my I list divided into three segments. First ballot, people who should be in, people I would put in. My first ballots, Brett Favre, Arv, absolutely. Curtis Martin, Marshall Falk, Jerome Bettis, Willie Rofe, and Will she Shields. They played for the Chiefs on the old line, for those who don't know. And Neon Dion Sanders, those who should be in. D-tackle Bryant Young of the Niners, Warren Sapp, App, Jimmy Smith, Tiki Barber, Mike Allstott, fullback Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and left tackle Tarek Glenn of the Colts. Those I would put in, Drew Bledsoe, oh, Keyshawn, and Priest Holmes. Holmes. Warren Sapp? Yeah, Warren Sapp. Where'd you come up with that one? Let's see. Best defensive tackle of the entire era of for the past 20 years. Over 100 sacks at the defensive tackle position. He's good, but I mean, I don't know if I would just throw him right in there. He's got a lot of people to go up against. A, uh, who a, a few who uh, at his position does he have to go up against other than Bron? I ain't young, and young isn't even close to Warren Sapp's level. I just don't think that that his position warrants that easy of, of a just a shoe into the Hall of Fame. I didn't say first. I said he should be in. He's I agree as a D tackle. He's got, got a lot of competition to deal with, but he has to go in. And I would say within the first eight. Well, we years. we both we both said uh, Bettis, Holmes, Curtis Martin. A few yeah. of them are Holmes are, is. I didn't put Holmes as a definite get get in because. Because pretty much he he's a lot like Terrell Davis. He had great. He was absolutely phenomenal for a definitely, very short period definitely. of time. But people are going to say he wasn't phenomenal long enough. Well, Terrell Davis does have a ring. Yeah, but I, I don't buy that. But you know, it's a fair enough argument. Argument. Another person who has a ring, of course, uh, Brett Favre. Brett Favre. I don't think no we can arguments. Argue Bet too much about that. Yeah, there's no arguments there. There. I, uh, Sean Landetta, I have no issue with. Sean Landetta. I will. But I'm going to say this. Sean Landetta and Jeff Fiegels, the other punter I think should go in, neither of them can go in before Ray Guy. Ray Sean, Guy is Sean the Sean Landetta, two-time Super Bowl champion, played on the Giants with under Bill Parcells. You've got to remember that. And another good fact about him, he is the last USFL player to retire from football. Yeah. He's got a lot of history going with him, and I think he can make a lot more if you put him in the Hall of Fame. Uh, Again, Ray Guy is often considered by everyone the best punter to ever pl I'll, I'll give you play. I'll play, and guy. until he's in, in, and that's that's up to the Hall of Fame committee. They got a couple of years to get mm -hmm. Ray Guy in, in there, and they need to get their asses on it. Now, I, I feel I, saw I the have to Marshall Falk and Deion Sanders, eh, maybe, but uh, uh, Drew Falk Bledsoe. is easy. Falk is easy. Falk had had a lot of great moments. I'll give you that. Allstott and Bledsoe, marginal choices. Bledsoe, I agree, marginal choice. I put him in because he had such tremendous statistics. And unlike Vinny Testaverde, he wasn't a compiler. He only pl played for roughly 14 ye years. Allstott is a six-time Pro Bowler as a fullback. D definitely a, a great stat to Best have for any fullback. Best fullback to play uh, in this, ta um, in this time. All right. The one I think f I sometimes feel I have to – Explain is Tarek Glenn. I think you should. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Tarek Glenn played for 10 years as a le uh, for the Indianapolis Colts. The worst s number of sacks they let up in mm -hmm. that whole time was his rookie season, and he didn't even play left tackle. That's he right, played yeah. guard. Yeah, right, yeah. Guard. Since then, since they got Peyton Manning, and since he became their starting left tackle, they had less than 30 sacks given up every single season. They mm -hmm. It was an absolutely stupendous guy. Guy, he was way underrated. You look at how well Peyton Manning did over their career, Definitely. how little he hit the turf, it's a, it's a how tough, great it's Edgerin a tough position James to play. and 
how great Edgerin James and Joseph Adai did with with Tarklin. The Definitely. guy was the under was underrated. Tough only... position to play, tough position for the Hall of Fame sometimes, but I definitely think he deserves it. Yeah. I think this, this was a pretty good Hall of Fame discussion. I think maybe our audience has a couple of things to disagree with us on. But uh, coming but, up next, we'll have some other discussions to, uh, to get going to after the break.